Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. First thing I wanted to check here at Target are the Good & Gather eggs. I noticed that the 12 count did come down 20 cents. They were $4.99, still $6.99 for the 18 count. It's been a big issue. One of the other issues we've been getting, a lot of comments that eggs have been hard to find in a lot of grocery stores just wanted to show target is another option they are pricey though gonna try and pick out some things too that people may use for the super bowl one of the ones that uh someone was asking about was philadelphia cream cheese where to find some of the better deals on it well 2.99 for a brick of it here you know 5.39 for two of them that's the best deal but 2.99 that's still cheaper than 3.19 at meyer and 3.29 at kroger so another good option here plus they have the good and gather uh which isn't bad philadelphia in my opinion is still better but the good and gather dollar 79 for a break if you're not too brand particular somebody was asking about feta cheese and that you haven't been able to find it they do have it here at uh, Target, they've even got the Good & Gather here a little cheaper. Uh, yeah, some of this can get pretty expensive. But uh, the Athenos feta cheese here is only $4.19, but it is kind of a small pack. You do get a little more here in the Good & Gather. And they have the uh, uh, Parmesan here, shredded Parmesan, $3.99 for that one. Usually these at Kroger for the private selection brand is about $4.99, so a little bit of a better deal. Some more little Super Bowl options here. They have the Hormel Gatherings, hard salami and pepperoni with the cheeses here. Uh, let's see, this is 14 ounces. This one is 28 ounces, so this one would be 15.49. The 14 ounce ones, these right here, are 8.39. So a little cheaper than Kroger here. I think Kroger said theirs on sale for 15.99, but usually it's right around $20. Uh, and they do have some of the hummus here. Some of the Sabra hummus. Now, some people were asking about this one. A little uh, dip for the Super Bowl. They do have a lot of their different uh, dips in here. They got their home style guacamole, classic guacamole. We've gotten good comments on some of the Good and Gather dips. They're a little, you know, they're not the cheapest, but I don't think we've ever had a bad comment on them. We were looking for these like a few weeks ago. We had a couple comments on them that nobody could find them. Uh, we didn't have them either. We didn't have them either. They just started coming back in. And they have these little things. Wow, that's a lot. That is $5.99. $5.49 for this egg salad here. 12 ounces of egg salad. $5.49. That's crazy. Everybody always asks me, Dan, why do you shop at Target for some of these things? Well, I mean, you know, there are some really good deals to be had. Like this Johnsonville Better with Cheddar. Uh, $4.19. They have the jalapeno one here, too. Uh, this good and gather chicken here looks like it was on clearance looks like it's gone though uh, 419 for these we usually find these for over five dollars pretty much everywhere so good price here something I would definitely take a photo of make sure you get it for that price a couple strawberry options they do have one pound strawberries for 349 um, Kroger is 399 so cheaper than there they do have the one pint blueberries here for 279 these are two for four at Kroger right now and they do have their blackberries here six ounce package for 249 and a 12 ounce package for 449 yogurt looks like it's getting pretty wiped out here at target um it is a little cheaper on the regular price and we're going to find a kroger chobani 529 now at kroger for four of them uh somebody asked if i would check some of the bigger containers of yogurt they do have the different chobani and oikos here all different prices range from 559 to 579 for some of them Oh, they got the Good & Gather here, $3.69. I don't know anything about these, though. Been a lot of talk on romaine lately. They do have this uh, ready-to-use romaine, Church Brother Farms. I say it looks pretty good. Uh, it is $2.99 for that. And the Good & Gather Romaine Hearts here. Ooh, these feel kind of fat. I thought they look good. They look good, but they're a little... Uh, yeah, that one's kind of thin, too. I don't know. You really got to check on these. Make sure you're getting your money's worth. $3.89 for three of those. Somebody asked if I would check the Kraft Singles. Um, yeah, well, we're here at Target, so I don't know if you maybe meant Walmart or Kroger, but 24 slices. This is 16 slices. Uh, this one is 4 dollars 
which was 449 as they say, but it's been 419 for a long time. The 24 count though is 529. 529, that's expensive. We'll have to keep our eye out for some of the craft cheese sales though. We have seen some craft cheese on sale. Um, let's see, they got the Sargento sliced cheese here, regular price 349, which is cheaper than 399 at Kroger. If you're looking for some different cheeses already sliced and ready to go for maybe some crackers at your Super Bowl party, got some good and gather organic here, all kinds of different options. Got the Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese, 419 for these. Wow, that's kind of expensive, but Tillamook is expensive, 379 for good and gather, so not much cheaper. But they do have some more options, extra sharp white cheddar. Yeah. Well, one thing is for sure, Target has definitely loaded up on the peanut butter. This is way more than we saw a couple weeks ago when we were here. They do have the hazelnut spread here at the Good and Gather. Somebody asked about this. $2.69 for that. They do have the Nutella. $3.99 now for this. Ooh, pretty expensive. Somebody asked in a previous video um, if I liked the Good and Gather peanut butter. Never tried it. Uh, and we've had no comments that I can recall on it. So if you've tried the Good and Gather peanut butter, let us know down in the comments if it's any good. These kind of things have really shot up in price. But somebody asked about pizza rolls for the Super Bowl. So I thought I would point out they do have the 100 count pizza rolls, Totino's here at Target. Uh, we saw like just a couple bags at Kroger the other day. So if you can't find them, Target is another option. They do have 130 count, which is... Uh, yeah, better deal. $12.99. They've got the little bagel bites. Somebody asked about these a long time ago. I hadn't seen them come in a long time. These are by Orita. Seems like everything by Orita has gone up in price. Um, $6.59. These were $5.99, but they didn't have these the last time I was here. So, so I'm going away for a while, come back at a higher price. They do have Hot Pockets. Uh, these went up to $3.19 at Kroger for two of them. $2.99 here isn't much better, but they are on sale two for $5 this week. One awesome thing about Target here is they actually sell Auntie Anne's pretzels. And yes, they're not like uh, the pretzels you get at Auntie Anne's. But I will say they're better than the super pretzels. They are a little pricier. Uh, and they have the classic hot dog pretzels as well. Uh, let's see. These are only four pretzels for on sale for $9.96. So a little bit of a deal, but still a little pricey. They've got the TGI Friday stuff, the mozzarella cheese sticks, and the famous... Potato skins, we usually make these ourselves, but I understand if you want to put something together quick. Uh, $6.89 for, I don't know, it looks like, uh, well, it's 13.5 ounces, so probably five or six potato skins. Little bit of cheaper options if you're throwing some things together for the Super Bowl. They got these little mini corn dogs here. These are good, but they have gone up in price. They were $7.99, now they're $8.79, so a little pricier. Little pricier, but the mozzarella cheese sticks are still $7.99. These are good too. Um, they've got these little like taquitos by the market pantry. This is Target brand. I've never tried these little mini tacos before. $4.99. Doesn't say how many, but it's 9.76 ounces, so it's probably not much in there. And if you want taquitos, this is what you want right here. The El Monterey, $7.19 for these. You get 20 taquitos, though. Something that you could really, you know, put together quickly, throw in the oven, and be done for the Super Bowl. These are good. You can cut them in half. You know, if you got a few people, you may need a couple boxes if you get a lot of people. But these are really good, and they go really well with, uh, like, different sauces, your favorite salsa. Yeah, really good. You know, we've made these on the Super Bowl before. Uh, probably be doing that again this year. Who knows? And if you like pot stickers or egg rolls, these are really good. Uh, the Good and Gather. I've tried the chicken and vegetable pot stickers. Don't know about the spicy Korean pork. I don't know about that one, but these are good. And these egg rolls, the vegetable spring rolls, are really good too. These are $5.79 for both. People are always asking for big, bigger bags of fruits, frozen fruits. So I always like to point them out here at Target, Good and Gather. They are good too. They really are. And they got the big bags of blueberries right here. 48 ounces here for $8.29. $7.98 at Walmart for the same thing. So um, Good and Gather berries though, they are every, I've had the strawberries, I've had the blueberries. They are really good. 
Uh, the mixed fruit blend here is really good, but that's that's gotten up a little bit. Nine dollars and seventy nine cents. I guess that ain't too bad, all considering. 48 ounces you know it's it's cheaper than if you get it fresh and because it's frozen it's going to last you a lot longer they have some of the smaller bags here uh good and gather pineapple chunks 279 uh, colada tropical blend four dollars and 19 cents and the sliced strawberries 349 so they do have a lot of options also somebody was asking about uh concentrated juice here they do have the old orchard here which is hard to find these days uh frozen $1.79 for these. They do have the apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It's good to see. We got a few more comments on the shells and cheese. Uh, someone said Velveeta. These are on sale at Kroger on the buy five or more. It brings it down to $2.79 once you get to five or more products. Again, that is all mix and match, but Target is having a sale on these two for six dollars. So you get them for $3 a piece, it's not too bad. And then they have the craft version, $3.59 for this. So, yeah, a little pricey. So over here, I found that they have Pringles, three for $5. When you buy three, you do have to buy three. Some of them though, like this one has scent on it, so that's probably been there a while. Uh, you definitely want to check, to all, you know, always check best of use by dates and, you know, or expiration dates, whatever you want to call it. But Target does have plenty of, like, snacky type stuff. I say these cheese balls, though, for six seventy nine, dollars uh, They were five ninety nine, dollars but we've been seeing these kind of things go way up in price. Uh, and they do have plenty of candy. Ooh, look at this. Favorite day milk chocolate sea salt caramels. I'm still working on those Sander sea salt caramels I got from Costco. And I got to say, if you've never tried those, they're called Sander's sea salt caramels from Costco. It is amazing. It was right around $10, but you get a big container of them and they are delicious. Look, they look just like these. I did want to show that they do have some of the organic options of macaroni and cheese. Some people were asking about these. It's been a while, but I thought of the Good & Gather brand here. I wanted to point them out. They are $1.69 a box, but they're a lot cheaper than Annie's, uh, which are like $3.29 uh, for the Annie's Organic or the Vegan Mac $2.99. Gluten-free $3.49. You're going to pay more for that. But um, yeah, they do have some of the Good & Gather here. Of the organic dollar sixty nine, so way cheaper. I don't see any gluten free good and gather ones though. And for those who are curious, they still have this sale going on until the eleventh of February, twenty twenty three. Of these Starkist packets for ninety nine cents, ninety nine cents, dollar forty nine regular price, dollar sixty nine a piece at Kroger, um, ninety nine cents a pack. They are also on a rollback offer at Walmart for a dollar, so keep that in mind. They still have their Campbell's Chunky Soup, which they've got a lot more variety in here than they did the last time we were here. Uh, five for ten, making them two dollars a piece. Also, I wanted to point out, regular price is two thirty nine. So when Kroger goes back up to two fifty, two thirty nine here, and the Progresso, uh, which is not on sale anywhere, two dollars and twenty nine cents regular price here, right? Two forty nine regular price at Kroger. So keep that in mind, and they got pretty good variety here. So not much spaghetti options, but look at this. Tons and tons and tons of pasta sauce. Again, I pointed this out the last time we were here, but they do have the Rayos 24 ounce for $7.39. Um, it's about the cheapest on the regular price. Again, you can buy that at Sam's Club. You can get two of the 22 ounce jars of it uh, for a little less than $10. So that's the best deal when it comes to that. Uh, they do have some of the diced tomatoes here look at this 99 cents for good and gather diced tomatoes we've used these before these are great um they do have the hunts here for a little more dollar 30 i'm telling you though if you're gonna get the hunts for a dollar 39 you might as well get the good and gather i tasted no difference i do like how they have a variety of pizza sauces here also they got the ragu they got the good and gather never tried the good and gather um, never tried the Rayos either. They have the Rayos pizza sauce also, but I like how they have this in one area here and they have the different pizza crust here. Good and gather organic pizza crust. Here's something you can do for the Super Bowl. Make, make some little pizzas. This would be awesome. People would love it. Even got a little cheaper for market pantry. Never use these, 
Um, but we've never gotten any bad comments on them either. So let's see, this is three of them for $3.59. So yeah, we might be able to find these a little cheaper somewhere else. Uh, and again, let us know down in the comments if you do or if you know where to find them cheaper uh, with quality, right? Don't, don't get the ones at Dollar Tree. Those are terrible. Getting more comments as our channel grows on gluten-free products. So I try to point some out as we go along. Uh, they do have good and gather gluten-free spaghetti. We went over this the last time we were here, but uh, it is far and few between these days. And they do have some good options. They got the chickpea spaghetti here, gluten-free. I got the the bonza here. That's not. I don't know if that's gluten-free or not. I don't think so. Um, they got some different organic options, and we like good and gather spaghetti. And for the regular spaghetti, one pound is still ninety-nine cents. This is really good. Also, until February 25th, 2023, they have four for four on the Campbell's condensed soups. You do have to buy multiples of four, but I mean, for a dollar, we see the look at these, some of these prices $1.79, $1.39 on like cream of chicken and stuff like that. So make sure you get your money's worth out of this one. Another thing you can do for the Super Bowl is get one of those meat, three pound meat tubes from uh, Kroger this week for $7.97. That is an amazing deal. Make your own tacos. Uh, this would be the way cheaper way to get it. Um, depending on, you know, you can get these little corn tortillas down here. Uh, $2.19. I mean, that's a great price, you know, and uh, make your own little tacos. Got all different kinds of options. You know, we've been seeing uh, tacos, like soft taco shells, low in a lot of places. They got a pretty good amount here. And they got the gluten-free. Well, someone left a comment about the old El Paso nacho cheese well you said the nacho cheese taco shells they do have them here i know these are hard to find sometimes uh we saw them at meyer a couple weeks ago and then we saw they were gone so they're pretty popular uh 2.99 here at target for the 10 pack of them rice aroni is now a dollar 49 a box here at target also i'll tell you what that is just crazy uh, i'm not sure but i think kroger may still have theirs going on for a dollar a box it says 10 for 10 at Kroger, but you don't have to do that as long as you use your Kroger Plus card. You only have to buy one. Although I would recommend, I would recommend buying 10 of them uh, if you use them a lot because $1.49, that's the same price everywhere right now. Kroger, Meyer, everywhere. Look at this. They got the Minute Jasmine rice here in the little packs. Somebody asked about these a long time ago. I have not seen these in a long time. They do have the other ones here. Those are $2.29. $2.29 for the four pack of the regular white rice here and brown rice, $2.29. And they have the box. They also have the Good and Gather, uh, which we've gotten some good comments on too. Not the place to buy the Ben's Original Ready Rice. This is probably the most expensive we've seen it anywhere, $2.79. They used to be the cheapest. They were $1.99 forever. We saw them go up to $2.19, and then we saw, boom, just jumped up to $2.79. $2.59 at Kroger, regular price. But they do have... A lot of the good and gather ones here and these are 249 so you're not really saving too much but we have gotten good comments lately on the good and gather the different organic ones here too the, uh, these ones are a little cheaper original long grain white rice dollar 49 Spanish style rice dollar 49 so the organic ones are 249 so that that don't sound too bad we're seeing one pound bags of rice go anywhere from $1.59 to $1.99 a pound in some places. They do have good and gather here, still for 99 cents for the long grain white rice and the long grain brown rice. Got the jasmine rice here. This is two pounds, two pounds for $2.69, so a little more. Um, and they've got some of the bean options down here. These are all a dollar. Oh, these went up. These went up. These were $1.29. $1.29. They went up from the last time we checked. $1.59 a bag now. Wow. Okay, so we did get a lot of comments for me to check out chips during Super Bowl week here. Uh, wow, this is crazy because usually Target has good sales on chips uh, and pretzels and stuff like that, but I'm not seeing any. Well, here's something on Doritos. Okay, two for eight. So this is the same price as Kroger. Two for eight on these. Um, but yeah, all of these are on sale at Kroger, so you may want to check there. They also have some of the different dips here. You know, I didn't see any of this Frito stuff at Kroger the other day. It was completely empty, so if you like this, I want to pick it up here. Well, $3.69 now. That's getting a little pricey. They do have these purely delicious Simply Organic Tostitos Blue Corn for two, two for $5, but... 
I gotta say, this is kind of, I mean, I can't say that I'm not surprised with all the prices going up and everything. And I don't think Target probably sells the volume of chips and pretzels like Kroger does. But yeah, usually they have uh, better deals here. They do have some good and gather chips. They are still $1.99. Pork rinds here. Never tried them. $1.99 for those. Got some plantain chips. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, this one's a bust. Absolutely no sales on pop either. None. Like all of it is regular price. This is crazy. I expected to see this stuff on sale this week. So I know this is super random, but this is not usually in this spot. I guess they just had a lot more of the Pampers. Had nothing else to put here, I guess. But I wanted to point out, you get a free gift card. Pampers Huggies and the Honest Company diapers priced $44 and up. Buy two or more, get a free $15 gift card. So like anywhere else, you want to make sure and do some price comparisons. Make sure that's a good deal for you. Um, but this expires February 11, 2023. Uh, buy two or more and get a free $15 card. Um, don't see any price tags on here, so I don't know how much these are. Not going to be able to run it up there to figure that out right now, but check out online, see if it's worth it to you. They do have their burpee vegetable seeds back in here. Got some carrots, sweet corn. Time to start a garden, guys. All these prices going up on everything. It's good. It's good for the soul. Good to uh, get growing. Eh, got some flowers here, too. Let's see, got some herbs. These are $1.69. I know we can find these cheaper, but just wanted to point them out. Good good to have options. Grow yourself some basil. Hey, if you got a cat, grow some catnip. So they got a whole outfit here for you at Target. They got the, the fancy garden shoes. <laughs> just an old, dirty pair of gym shoes for me. Uh, and they got gloves. Got some good gardening gloves right here. Uh, these are $12, though. $25 for this little kit right here, a little garden kit. I don't know if that's worth it. Some of these, like, you know, these are $10. Uh, they're kind of fancy looking, but I don't know. We can find these cheaper, but again, good that they have it. $5.49 for one of these little Coleman propane tanks now. Jeez, this you probably definitely would want to get at Home Depot. Um, been a while since we've checked these, but yeah, three pack for fifteen sixty nine. Really? We're not really saving anything. Usually, when you get a two or three pack, you save a lot on this stuff. Yeah, definitely not the cheapest place to get this. But to be fair, I haven't really looked at these in a while. So I was checking out some of the pet food here. The dried dog food. They have a deal where if you buy two or more, you get a free five dollar gift card. And you'll have to kind of do some of the price comparisons to see how much it is, you know, at your target and stuff and see if that works out for you. But it's a pretty good deal. I will say they are fairly low more than normal here at Target on dog food. Um, do have a lot of pedigree, but they always do. But a lot of these other ones, I don't know. I've been getting more and more comments about uh, dog food and cat food again. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on it. Uh, we got a couple comments on these Caesar packets here. They are still $1.49 here. They shot up to $1.69 a piece at Kroger, so keep that in mind. They want to look into some of the multi-packs to try and save. So as to where it's lower than it's been, I gotta say, Target's pretty loaded down on uh, wet cat food. Uh, it's a little cheaper here, too, than you're going to pay at Kroger. 85 cents a can. They have plenty of Fancy Feast. Um, low on some of them. And, you know, the one, one thing I look at are the multi-packs. People are buying the multi-packs because the single cans are just getting too expensive. So when we don't see these, you know, that tells you, you know, they're getting bought up. They also have the items. Uh, $1.39 for those. Ah, look at this. Sheba packets went up. These were 94 cents here at Target. Now they are $1.19 a pack. I don't know. We're continuing to see prices go up on uh, pet food. Let's see, they got Friskies down here, 75 cents a can. We've been seeing these for 80 cents a can pretty much everywhere else. So five cents cheaper. And again, look at this. They have one multi pack right here. One. That's crazy. Somebody was asking about these temptations here, these little snack treats for cats. Um, they do have a good amount of them here at Target. I saw this here, just want to point this out. I remember we got a comment on it. I guess they're running so low, so low on dry cat food, they have to replace them with uh, dolls here. <laughs> uh, they do have Meow Mix here. This is the 6.3 pounds for 10.39. 
Um, and yeah, this is, uh, for Target, this is super low. Usually they're pretty full on uh, cat food, but we've been seeing it low everywhere. Only one of the smaller bags of Meow makes the tender centers here. $4.79 still for that, so I haven't seen a price on that go up, but yeah, this is uh, pretty low. Got some of the bigger bags here, original choice. They do have some of the Purina cat chow, though, the kitten chow and cat chow. Gotten comments on both, um, but yeah, some huge gaping holes here, but $7.29 for that Purina cat chow uh, seems a little high, and they do have some of the more expensive ones like IMs here. Uh, they do have the smaller bags of IMs, but look at this price, $12.69 for that. That is not good. Um, some of the bigger bags, it looks, well, okay, so they are offering a $5 gift card when you buy two or more, so if your cat eats the IMs brand, that may be something to look into. Um yeah, they got plenty of this because it's very expensive. Okay, well, I'm glad I came back here to check out the baby formula. I quit checking it out here at Target because it's always been gone. I actually have a really good amount here. Got the big cans of the Gentle Ease. This has been, well, I don't know. That's kind of shrunk in size a little bit, I think. She used to be a little bit bigger. It's 19.9 ounces. I don't see a price on it. Got a lot of different infamils, too. And I'm seeing these new, like... Four packs of these. Never seen these before. These are, uh, well, that's up and up. So, a lot of this stuff must be in the wrong prices or in the wrong places. Got this Advantage Premium here. Um, so, a lot of the same kind of stuff. Oh, look at this. Got the big cans of the Similac Sensitive back in, though. Uh, 30.2 ounces. Hmm. Okay. A lot of people were asking about that one. They also have a lot of the Kinda Mill back in. I know we had gotten some great comments on this, and then we saw it disappear there for a while. Does look like it's coming back in here, and they have the Similac Total Care. It's been really hard to find this one. The, the same bit that we saw the big can down there, no price anywhere. But oh, this is probably where the big one goes. That's forty-four ninety-nine. There's no way this is right about twenty dollars everywhere. So forty-four ninety-nine for the big one. Um. It doesn't even say the ounces on there, so I really don't know. But I know that is not $45. Well, that was our trip to Target. Kind of a Super Bowl bust. I didn't really see a lot of Other than some of the things that they had set up. Some of the different cheeses and spreads. They have hummus. I know a lot of people... I remember last year, there were a lot of people asking about hummus. Looking for it for the Super Bowl, and we couldn't find any. We directed people to Target here. They were the only place I could find that actually had that Sabra hummus. Little disappointing to see the chip aisle and pop and like a lot of the things that I would assume most people buy for the Super Bowl parties. Nothing really on sale here. I Last year it was a lot different. They had a lot more sales on pop, chips, pretzels, all that. So I didn't see any of that in here today. Uh, we're going to be checking out some other stores to help you find the, the cheapest prices, not just for Super Bowl snacks, but for everything, food in general, because these prices have gotten so ridiculous. But that is why we do this every day so that we can bring you the best deals to help save you money. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out. Thank you.